Coming up on today's Man Cave Technology, we are gonna talk about Apple rumors. WWDC is around the corner and stuff is happening. Hey, thanks for watching the show. We have a lot of rumors to talk about, so first let's check in with everyone over there on the Man Cave Technology couch. How's it going for you? It's going well. Good. Yeah. Wow. It's good. And Dalton is wearing his shirt. That's one of my favorite oh, yep. compromises Compromise for losers. For yes. And we also have the Man Cave Technology <laughs> stool corner area where wow. Wow. Donovan Pretty is. He has been bad. put in the corner for bad behavior. Oh, no. So <laughs> as we, you can't say that. I can. And as we come up on a w, another WWDC, there's a lot of rumors uh, with everything Apple. So let's Let's just get this one out of the way really quick. Apple uh, has been rumored to be creating a basically an um, Amazon Alexa and Amazon Echo that's going to be Siri. So basically a black box that you put on your kitchen counter and Where you talk to. Have we seen that to. before? I don't know. They're yeah. a little late to the game like they always <laughs> yeah. are. I remember when I had the iPhone and everyone was sending picture messages and I couldn't do that for like two years because I had the latest technology. But what do, you, what, do you, what do you guys think? Is Apple behind on this and is Siri up to the task compared to Google and Amazon? Well, I guess they're sort of ahead in terms of they had Siri before. I remember a lot right. of the other yeah. things uh, coming out. But like as a standalone thing, they're way behind. Like, way behind, yeah. Yeah, this is not new at all. I think that, yeah, I agree with Delta. They had the jump with Siri for sure on the world. But uh, the problem is I think that, you know, and I don't know the algorithm. I'm not that smart. But Amazon and Google have a way better algorithm compared to Siri. It's been shown on YouTube many of times, although that's a Google platform, so it could be biased. But many of times <laughs> um, that that Siri just totally blows. So we'll have to see if they just, you know, Siri 2.0 it, right. and they actually just put it inside the Mac Pro, you know, something that hasn't been upgraded, and then just put it in a black box, and they actually update it this time instead of leaving it like the Mac Pro for years and years. Um, but yeah, I think they're way behind the times. Yeah, I pretty much quit using Siri, which is sad, just because it's so annoying. I have it on my mm. watch, I have it on my phone, but if, mm. I feel like every time I ask it to do the most simple thing, it totally botches it. Yeah. yeah. And it's just more trouble then it should ever be worse. So do you think that this thing is going to do the exact same thing? I'm going to guess so because and like, like kind of like Ryan said, unless they say we've improved Siri and here's Siri 2.0 and uh -huh. here's our black Siri box, I think it's just going to be a black box of Siri, uh, which I already have everywhere and yeah, I don't you use. you use on your phone <laughs> I think so because it's bad. I think the one thing they could maybe do uh, for this is if uh, Apple is always kind of like intertwined all of their products like you have your watch and your phone yeah. and, your, and your computer and it all interlaces if this kind of works with those things in a really interesting way that we haven't seen then i think that would be cool because like amazon's thing doesn't really interact with your phone in the same way that like apple could interact with apple products you know so i think that maybe they could do like oh buy this song and download it on my computer or right. something you know like i don't know it, they'll have to really improve mm -hmm. Siri, though. Right? Yeah, well, and, you know, I have right now, it's just insanity because I have all three of these, and I talk to them on a regular basis. And sometimes Google does a decent job. Sometimes Amazon does a, But they, they all just fall down at different <laughs> points. I'll ask yeah. a very simple question, and they can't tell me the answer. So I, I think Apple, this is an area where Apple could actually really come out of the box, make it awesome. But I just think if it's just another black box mm -hmm. of the same Siri, we already have plenty of that and we don't like it. Some other rumors that are happening. Is, is yeah. that like the Alexa? It would it would just always be on and you would have to say Siri and I'm then gonna it would assume, respond? I'm going to assume that would be the case. Yeah. So And that is the advantage to those is that it's kind of always there, always listening. That's also mm. what makes them kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. some other things that, that we have, Apple is allegedly possibly going to release new MacBook Pros. I'm going to guess that they're going to be... Just a spec refresh. Yeah, they're going to do that. <laughs> but, I mean, we, I've ha we've had... Have you, are you guys still having trouble with this computer, as much trouble as I am? Not, not as much. Uh, the only thing that I've really had trouble on is um, airplane to an Apple TV and then not um, airplane with it kind of really weird case but in clamshell mode where it's closed right. hooked up to an external monitor um, but other than that yeah no USB-C issues uh, they've really done a good job at patching this up yeah, yeah. I've still had some issues uh, I had some with my LG 5k monitors uh, well, mm. how is it going for you Don? I was going to say it, I always like saying that this is my first Mac and it has crashed more times <laughs> this guy than any <laughs> Windows PC
PC that I've ever had. I, I do feel bad for Dom, and I still need to yeah. look at his computer being a Mac technician. No, but. no. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, wow. I did have a girl freak out. I did but, have a girl freak out. Donovan a has girl a freak out. No, oh. Colonel. Oh, oh, oh okay. Colonel. Oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, okay. Have a girl freak no, out. No, I was no, like, what is that? All the time, all the time. Yeah. No, Donovan uh, has had multiple uh, Colonel panics, which is really derelict. So now, in the in the last part of uh, probably the last couple months, I've had uh, relatively low issues. So okay. I think it has improved and it's not crashing like it used to, which I is think, nice. I dude. think yeah. that to really sell this computer, oh, let's check a second, Richard. It really sell this computer is basically get rid of the rest of that and then do the spec bump and actually right. show people who didn't come on to the original USB-C, uh, the first edition of this computer. Right. If you can do that, fix the bugs and do a spec bump, I think that a lot more people will buy this. It, like, I haven't ever really worked with Max until this job. Uh, I've mm. been just PC yeah. my entire life. So from what I've got to work with the Mac, I do like it. I do yeah. like a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I think traditionally they have been very stable. Uh, it's just this particular machine oh, man, yeah, has terrible. had some trouble and hasn't mm -hmm. hasn't been as great as they have. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Of course, lots of iPhone eight rumors and everything well, out and, there. And iOS eleven. Yeah. Oh my. So, Which is going to be huge. We'll we'll see we'll see what they do with that. What's the latest rumors on on any of that? In terms of iOS eleven, it's kind of interesting. Um, Back when iOS 7 was out, ever since then when we went to 8, 9, and 10, there have been, I can't pronounce the last name, but Craig, Fred, or uh, you know, the, yeah, the know software guy about. that's always on WWDC and all their announcements, um, their software guy, he always comes up big and he always comes up with huge things that I use all the time, like Siri integrated with Maps or Maps now is know this or Notes sing this way or hey, we're going to do the continu continuity between the Mac. Like literally, right. this guy needs a pay raise. He shows up every time. <laughs> To yeah, he does a really good job. I there's nothing that he's announced that I don't use on a regular basis, hmm. and I think on iOS 11 he's going to do nonetheless. He's going to show up big. And I think, okay. you know, one of the rumors I saw was peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay. Uh, I think they just need to get Apple Pay accepted everywhere. everywhere. And that first, would be what yeah. I would be working on. Where is it not accepted? Yeah, pretty everywhere. much everywhere. So <laughs> really? I can use it at Walgreens and Nike and McDonald's. Okay, I literally oh, went no to a... Subway, no oh, Subway. Subway. Really? Okay. Subway. I was going to say, I think maybe Starbucks, actually. There there you you go. Go. Starbucks yeah. as well. Yeah. I literally went to a McDonald's just to use the Apple Pay, and they basically brought everyone out front to watch because they were... <laughs> so every time... It, yeah. it is interesting. It's so unused that everyone is always mesmerized every time I use it. Well, yeah. keep in mind that you know we're not in a major metropolitan area, so that may be different in other parts of the country. Yeah, two two things about Apple Pay. Yeah, it is actually much bigger in Europe now that Domin brings that up. I looked that up a while ago. Two things about Apple Pay that's really interesting. It's really locked down right now in terms of NFC usage. Yeah. So because mm -hmm. they only lock NFC to Apple Pay, I hope that in the iPhone eight or whatever they call it, they bring out NFC so that we can use it right. for other things like pairing headphones or just you know pairing any thing kind of like the airpods and how they did that because they're using nfc for that um in terms of the apple pay being everywhere um their rep last year or two years on, on wwdc someone in a q a form said hey um live hey why is apple pay not anywhere why is it in like one starbucks in the country yeah and she said it's extremely hard kind of like how tim cook said it's hard to take the money out of china without losing it all she said it's extremely <laughs> hard to put it in all these places because they just won't accept it right, um, and it's right. very hard to just say hey visa let us do this because they say no we're a huge company can we take a moment to talk about samsung pay no rip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I love going to like maybe some, a yeah. moment of silence. Yeah, I, of silence. I, love going to like, I love going to Subway or something and seeing like Google Pay or Android Pay, and then just thinking when I did have an Android device, how hard it was for me to even realize how to even use that. Where on Apple Pay, I just double click, I'm done. Yeah, and it just works. And I, I think, you know, there's a lot of leaks about, obviously, the design. I think we're going to see this bigger screen to the edge. We're yeah. allegedly possibly going to see the uh, fingerprint reader disappear and just kind of be in there. Everywhere, yeah. Um, we're looking at, uh, there's some augmented reality rumor. So I think um, it'll be interesting to see what they do. I think that they're going to do stuff. I don't know that any of it's going to be earth shattering. Yeah. Um, well, so, and another rumor that they had was also the new iPad Pro, which they're vamping up the size a little bit. So instead of having a 9.7 inch model, they're going to have a 10 and a half inch model. Have mm -hmm. something in between um, there for Because yeah. I have the big one, the 12, yeah. and it is pretty big. Yeah, I used wow. to have that one and it was, yeah, it's pretty monstrous. So if they can get something kind of in the middle and uh people buy it then that's great but 
it's it's nothing revolutionary in terms of the iPad. Mm-hmm. Right. So as we okay. close out this episode, do you have any special just wishes, your wish list of, of Apple, and I'll save mine for last of what I want them to do, but does anyone have anything that, if you could just have anything you wanted from Apple that they would do? A million dollars. Okay, a million oh dollars. <laughs> is, is this realistic or not? This could, no, I would say realistic. Okay, realistic on the new iPhone, instead of just taking the bottom bezel here and, yeah. and making the entire thing the fingerprint reader, I want the whole screen to be the fingerprint reader. So press it anywhere. So, yeah, I can just hold my phone anywhere and it'll automatically unlock. What about that, like that's an, next level. What about like an eye reader instead? There you go. Wow. Of that of would be cool if it, if it worked. Yeah. So yeah. Microsoft has tried that on the Surface, and uh, one of the problems I found was... It just was slow. Yeah, what a fail. <laughs> Donovan, you just want your computer to work. Yeah. <laughs> you want Tim Cook to come out and say, we have fixed Donovan's I, computer. I want, <laughs> I want Nokia-like battery life. Yes. Like, I want my phone to last, like, yeah. like four days. Make a thick oh, phone. Yeah, yeah. Make a yeah. thick I'm, I'm phone okay that's full I, of I battery. I switch mine to, yeah. to Dalton's. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you want long battery yeah, life. Seriously. I will, I will end with mine, which is the Apple, if you are listening... I need you to update the Mac Pro. It is very old. It is very (laughs) embarrassing. It's a piece of trash. It literally is a trash can. And I want you to give us a big modular machine that's manly, that can power the most epic of things that you can build out to like $50,000 configurations that literally just runs, you know, massive amounts of air through it and that I could edit like eight 4K videos at the same time with multiple monitors hooked up and we would just buy a big one of those. We would all just connect our brains into it. And that's what I want to see tomorrow. That is what I want to see tomorrow. I will sell you my soul if you can create that. Oh, my gosh. Dang, Maybe son, I will do that. Maybe I won't do that. Okay. That's how much I know they're not going to do that. Wow. So, hey, thank you for watching this edition of Man Cave Technology. Make sure to watch to see what Apple does, and we will be talking about it right here on the show. Please subscribe if you have not already, and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.